Finally found a bagel in New York City that is to my liking. Oh my gosh, that is so much cream cheese. Raise your hand if you think that this is the cutest thing on the planet. <laughs> and also like the funniest. Welcome back to another vlog, you guys. I almost said good morning, but it's 3 p.m. And I just ate a bagel. We woke up this morning super late. If you guys saw the end of my last vlog, we got up at 11, which was kind of crazy for me anyway. I think I can count on, I was gonna say one hand, but probably two hands the amount of times that I've slept in past 10 p.m. since I left college. And I don't know why, usually I just like getting up early and getting my day started on Saturdays, but today my body just needed a lot of rest. So slept in, got smoothies for breakfast, which was honestly something I haven't had in a long time because our blender broke and this looks crazy <laughs> and i'm getting a new one for christmas but that means that for the past like month and a half i haven't been able to make a smoothie and i really miss them so instead i paid ten dollars for one okay my memory card was full so i just had to delete a video so i'm getting ready because i did want to vlog for today because tomorrow it's going to be rainy and gross out and usually that means that the light in the apartment is a little bit dimmer so i can't show you guys things like as well in the natural light. So I'm gonna start off the vlog this afternoon. So welcome back to the channel. Welcome to, I think this is Vlogmas episode six. If you guys have been following along, I hope I'm not wrong. It could be six or seven, but this happens like every single creator that I watch that does some sort of Vlogmas never knows what day of Vlogmas it is. And it's just because it all kind of just blends together when you're editing like every day. And I mean, I'm not doing that this year, but it's just, you know, all kind of a whirlwind, but I am going to show you guys a couple of packages that I got in today and they're like polar opposites, but I'm equally excited about both of them. So I cannot wait to show you guys those. Then I'm going to watch Rachel Auten Reith's newest vlog. She announced that she's pregnant and I'm like so excited for her. It's like really strange that I don't even know these people, but I can just be like so happy and like excited for them. So. I'm gonna watch her newest video because I think it's like the video after, my single air quotes, the video after the news has been shared. So she'll be like actually talking about it. But it's funny because I watched her vlogs back after she announced it. Like I was catching up on her vlogs and it's just funny how like she was intentionally saying like, you guys know I love baggy clothes, like all this stuff, but I wouldn't have picked up on that because she says that all the time and it's actually true. But in this case, it did work out in her favor that she likes oversized things because nobody knew <laughs> at all. And then Avery and I were talking about how she got a new car, like a bigger truck, and we're like, how did we not see that coming? Like, all the reasons that she was saying were just so plausible for, like, you know, wanting a bigger truck. She was like, oh, I drive my husband's all the time, and I just like being really high up, and it's just a lot of space. And I'm like, okay. But it's probably because she is you know, wanting to have a car for a family one day. But yeah, I do want to catch up on that video. And honestly though, because I woke up so late today, I really haven't done much except for I put up the handbag collection video. So if you guys have not seen that one, definitely make sure to check it out if that's something that's like in your alley or if you like watching those sorts of things. I am just a very nosy person. So I like to kind of watch like everything from the YouTubers that I watch, but I know that's not some people's cup of tea and some people like don't care about handbags at all, which is completely fine too. Um, but I did upload that and then I have a collaboration on Instagram with a tea company. And I don't know if you guys know this or if I've, or, or if, or if I've mentioned it, but I, when I'm not drinking coffee, I really try to stay hydrated, but recently I have been getting so tired of just drinking water that I've been drinking tea and especially since like having my company party like alone I did go out last night too but just after my company party my voice like felt so weird afterwards and it's because you're talking the entire time and there's music and it's loud and I feel like I need to like heal my vocal cords <laughs> but it's also really nice and cozy for the holidays too so I'm actually gonna go make a cup of tea now and then I'm gonna grab the boxes that I have to show you guys so we can do a nice little cozy unboxing. And I'm gonna take this thing off my head. 
Imagine if I had kept it on for the entire vlog. I like wouldn't put it past me. Okay, sorry that the whole beginning portion of this vlog is in our room, but Polly's studying in the living room, so I don't want to disturb him. We've got some tea in my Santa mug, so she's not only just for coffee. And this is a green tea, I believe, but I actually have the tea company here. Look how cute this packaging is. It's like a storybook kind of design. And then on the inside, it opens up and then there's like a whole thing of tea. So if you guys have someone in your lives who absolutely loves tea or that that's just their thing, I feel like this is a really pretty gift to give them or like maybe a teacher's gift or something like that. Um, that was super random, but we have some packages. I'm gonna try to show you guys the label without showing you where I live. <laughs> um, so this box is from Rose Inc. And everybody knows that I love their blush. And what else do I have? I have their lip product, but the blushes really like got me into the brand. And I do still wanna try their, um, like, uh, it's like a luminous foundation kind of thing, but it's a tinted moisturizer. So they sent over a PR box and I'm like absolutely freaking. So for anyone who doesn't know, this company's owned by Rosie Huntington Whiteley. This is what she looks like if you guys <laughs> have never seen her, but she's like actually my style icon. She is, so chic and classic and put together all the time and so when i found out about her brand i like jumped on it immediately and they have released oh my god guys they've released um body care i think so we have a nice huge scrunchie a little oh my gosh so i can wear this headband instead of wearing that creepy little bunny one that i was just wearing I'm just kidding, I do love my leopard one, but these are super helpful because I don't wash my hair every single day. So when I'm washing my face or if I'm in the shower and just doing like a body shower, I always put one of those on just to protect like these pieces that like curl up super easily. But we have a hydration replenish. So this is a gel cream. And then we have a brightening serum. I'm always a sucker for a serum. That's like, I feel like my skincare routine's not complete unless I have a serum with my moisturizer. And then the last one is an exfoliating cleanser, which I actually started using an exfoliant, like a physical exfoliant, um, probably like a couple months ago because I felt like my skin was getting so like clogged and like there was a lot of buildup and it's like been getting a lot better. I have a lot less breakouts, so I feel like that's really helpful. I've always used like chemical exfoliants, but I like the physical ones as well. So I cannot wait to use all this stuff. I will. Um, definitely give you guys a full review once I've gotten into it for a couple of weeks, but I don't want to tell you like my first impression of the product if I'm only like after using it once or something. So I will definitely let you guys know, but this is super exciting. I'm freaking out and I still cannot believe that I have a PR package from Rosie Huntington Whiteley's company. That's just insane and I love her so much and I love her product so much and I can't wait to dive into all of this, but I'm trying to take good care of the packaging so I could take a picture for Instagram. And then this next box is like pretty huge. <laughs> and I think, so I have two packages coming from Cezanne and this is actually one that I ordered after the first one. So I thought that this was going to be like, I don't want to say the boring one because I love everything from Cezanne, as you guys have heard me say a million times on my channel. But if this is what I think it is, we're about to have a fun little try on because I have been wanting the, so there's like a, I don't know how people found out about it before it sold out, but there is a J. Crew jacket and it's like a fluffy little elegant ladylike Really just like, I don't know, it, it was kind of pricey, so I don't wanna say it was expensive looking because it was expensive. And this one I believe also is a little bit pricey, but I didn't have any Christmas presents and I felt like this was a good way to go. So this jacket reminded me so much of the J. Crew one and I honestly might even I might love it more. So this is what she looks like. It is a kind of like hip length, fluffy, creamy, soft coat. 
and I've recently had an obsession with like fur coats because I think that this with like a I don't know like with my Chanel double flap and like tights and heels looks so classy but also for the reason that I don't really have like evening wear jackets at all and so like when I was going to my holiday party for work the other day I wore just like a regular wool coat and I was like I wish I had something like this that could like go along with my dressy outfit and this would have been perfect but it came too late so I'm actually gonna throw on a t-shirt so I can show you guys what this looks like and I'm just so excited I got a size 36 so I think I sized do I know so it's a US 4 I think I sized up one um, just because I wanted to be able to fit like a thinner knit underneath it just in case but I'll let you guys know how it fits when I put it on so the jacket fits exactly how I was picturing I've tried on things like this before and sometimes they can be a little bit too puffy and it just makes me look like a gumdrop <laughs> um, but I think this fits so so nicely Look at how long the sleeves are, that's super cozy. And then there is a little clasp at the top here. So if you wanna like close it, there's a fish and eye clasp and are there, yeah, there's two of them. So you can close it, oh no, they go all the way down the jacket. So you can fully close the jacket if you want to, which I feel like would look cute if you did like, I don't know, um, like a skirt and tights on the bottom and just have this as like your fluffy, creamy, little top and like kind of as not like a shirt but you know what I mean like fully closed um and I just think it looks super cute I also really like it with jeans I would do like some sort of a turtleneck underneath it though or maybe like a cream sweater to dress it up right now I just have on a black t-shirt just to show you guys what it looks like but I love the way that this fits and it already sold out in the smallest size so when that happened I ordered this so quickly <laughs> that it was like a no-brainer for me and I think Avery ordered the same one so we're gonna be matching or taking matching jacket photos coming soon to Instagram but I absolutely love this and I feel like it's a really good classic elevated jacket to have in your wardrobe so if you are you know wondering whether or not it's like worth the money or like the quality I would say it's definitely really great quality very very soft and I feel like you can get a ton of use out of it okay it's time to go <laughs> Um, we're going to meet our friends at France's Tavern, which is a nice little old restaurant for a drink. And then Polly's going to go off to have a steak dinner with his friends. Um, they like planned it a while ago, so they're doing a huge night. But I am wearing this Cezanne cardigan. It's like that dark olive green one that I love to wear so often. And then this sort of like cape coat from... Zara that I got when I was on a work trip. So it's $200 in the US, which is a lot, but I got it for 30% less than that. So that's going to be the top. And then I kept on my um, frame jeans from earlier today. And then I'm going to put on some sneakers or something like that. Probably just like black Converse that I wore last night because they're already out and near the door. Good morning everyone. I think this is the beginning of another vlog. We're not really sure, but today is just chaotic. It is Wednesday. I have the day off. I took a PTO day because we have a day full of holiday cheer, which means um, every year my boyfriend and his family go and do like Christmas in New York City. We go see the tree, go to a play, and we go to dinner, and I get to tag along. But before we do that, I have to film a couple of campaigns before the end of the year. So you can see that there's like a whole teapot set up behind me. I was waiting for the natural light to come in for this morning in order to take the photos for that for Instagram. And it has just come in now, but I actually have to leave and go to the Primark store in Brooklyn to film some clips in there. So I'm just getting my shoes on. We are wearing new balances and just a pair of, I was gonna say hot white socks, high white socks and I'm trying to bundle because it's 34 degrees out right now. It's supposed to be 45 later, but for right now it's freezing. So I think I'm gonna grab a beanie on the way out. I have this really warm sweater on from Jenny Kane, and then I have my Avec Lafitte coat that I cut the lining out of and don't regret at all, by the way. So um, even though it's chaotic, I did wanna pick up the vlog and take you guys along with me, whether that's on my camera or on my phone. I haven't figured out which bag I'm bringing and I have to leave like now, so last minute decisions. But welcome back to the channel, everyone. Hope you're all subscribed and if you're not, then make sure you do that.
Good morning, guys. Today is Friday and it's a half day for me. So I'm very excited to just get the rest of my work done before the end of the year and um, also just to have some time to vlog with you guys because I am signing off for work at a 1 p.m. and then we are going back to New Jersey a little bit later today um, and I've been up since 6.30. Went and met Hathel and Bella in West Village to shoot. I wish I picked up the camera this morning because West Village was decorated so nicely. The um, St. Jardim location that I actually took you guys to a couple vlogs ago, the scaffolding has been taken down, which is always a very exciting thing in New York when the scaffolding gets taken down because it just gives the building behind it like all of its glory and it was really nice to see it that way because it hasn't been i think it's been up since i started going to that coffee shop so that was really pretty we shot outside there and then we went down the street to st ambrose which has a christmas tree in the front of it which i'll just insert a photo here um so you guys can see what it looked like but i did have a nail casualty and it started to chip in one spot so naturally i picked off the whole nail <laughs> And I'm just putting regular nail polish on. Thank God I have this Chanel one from a little gift set that is a dark color because otherwise I have bright red and I have nude pink, which doesn't go with my chocolate brown espresso nails. <laughs> um, so yeah, I've been up this morning, came back, put some laundry in, did some work, and I have a post that's going live today with a tea company, which I'm excited about because... I am a tea lady. I mean, I would say I'm a coffee lady first, but second to coffee, I'm definitely a tea lady, especially in the winter time. I'm more of an iced coffee person, so I don't really feel completely fulfilled with just the ice, just the hot coffee. So tea is like my best friend when it's freezing out. Um, so I have that to post, and then I am gonna film the unboxing portion of the Primark stuff that I picked up, and I wanna show you guys everything that I got too because I did pretty well, I'm not gonna lie, but I was in a whirlwind the other day before we left to go and have our Christmas extravaganza day. So that's why I haven't picked up the camera yet. And yesterday I was in the office, we did Secret Santa. I have to show you guys what my Secret Santa got me. It's adorable and so perfect and very, very on brand for me. And then um, I'll show you guys what I got from Primark, but I have to wait for this thumbnail to dry, which I mean, honestly, this looks pretty much the same. It's a little bit more like, reddish like dark red but it works but i just wanted to pick up the camera and start the vlog off for today and i think this is going to be the last vlog that i film no not i think i know this is going to be the last vlog i film inside of the apartment for this year i'm contemplating vlogging when i'm at home just for like a couple of days so we have christmas eve eve which is on saturday tomorrow and i have like brunch with my friends in hoboken and we're getting all dressed up so i think i want to film all of that and then maybe just a few things at home of like you know coffee runs driving around all of the suburban stuff so i think i'll have that probably posted after christmas and then we'll be into the new year so i'm gonna go and work because i can type emails with a wet nail <laughs> and then i'll show you guys some of the stuff that i got afterwards so this is the wonderful gift that i got from my secret santa at work it is a set of, well, first of all, the packaging is really cute with this whole, what is this called? What movie was that? That's a box. Yeah, but what movie was this? Uh, great Gatsby. Gatsby. <laughs> Gatsby themed packaging. And there's a set of- Slash Art Deco. Yes, Art Deco is also the word. With these beautiful, I don't even know if I can grab this, coupe glasses. And they're just so pretty. I really wanted like a girly cocktail glass to drink out of because we only have martini glasses, but I kind of didn't want to invest in them because I have to make sure we have cabinet space, but this was a really nice gift that I didn't want to buy myself, but that I would gladly receive from somebody else. So very thankful for that. That was a nice surprise to open yesterday at work. Okay, this kitchen table is an absolute pigsty, but just a couple of other new in things that I have. This is my Vivrel rented bag for this month slash as long as I want to keep it um, because you can kind of like back to back rent the same bag and that's what I did with my last vintage one but this one is 
stuff. I like kind of want to buy this. If my phone could fit in here, I think I was seriously going to consider it, but it doesn't. So that's kind of like off the table for me. But this has a little adjustable Chanel logo on it. And so you can slide it and the chain can go to different lengths, which I think is super nice, especially for an impractical bag. It kind of brings a little bit of versatility and practicality to this item. And I shot with this this morning. It was so cute. And I am definitely going to keep this for more than one month. Um, and then we got this YSL concealer. And I have to say, I don't know how, but I'm always spot on with guessing my foundation shade. And I think this is like probably the same color as my concealer that I have right now. I'm going to compare it, but this is their all hours precise angles concealer and i love their tinted moisturizer i use that anytime that i want to wear like any sort of like foundation and it comes on the skin really nicely and the color is nice and like neutral it's not orange at all so i'm excited to try out this concealer too with the tinted moisturizer back in the unboxing spot and I'm gonna show you everything that I got from Primark I just filmed the clips for Instagram a little bit earlier today but something that I realized you guys that is so random I never say the in real life I always say the but when I watch my videos back I always say the and the word is the like I always just say like the clips or like the sweaters and I'm like the sweaters the I don't know this is just my theater voice <laughs> anyway so i just filmed the clips see now i'm saying normal okay we filmed some clips of the primark stuff and i got a really good variety and i wanted to share it with you guys because this is a very affordable brand that i have quickly become very in love with and it was really after just my first visit to the store so i thought i honestly didn't know that they had I honestly didn't know they had stores in the US until they reached out for a collaboration. I thought they were only online, but they do have stores in New York and then a couple like scattered throughout the country. But there's one in New York, one in New Jersey, which are like the ones near me. And then um, just like random locations here and there. But I think you can just order online. So I'm going to see if I can link all of these or like whatever I can. But the first thing that I grabbed were these pajamas and they look so freaking expensive i can't even explain to you like this stripe pattern that goes through them plus the black piping they're like a creamy color too which i always like a cream and a black um i just think it looks pricier than just doing regular like stark white and black and the matching pants so little story time i actually saw the pants first and there were so many pairs like in one rack and I got there super early. It was a little bit disorganized, like in that area specifically. And I was like, oh, perfect. I'm never going to be able to find the top. But I got the pants in a small. And then I asked the lady, do you have the matching top? And she's like, we did have it in the front of like the display of this area. But I'm not sure if it's still there. So I went over there. They didn't have it. And then I was like, let me just comb around. On top of the fact that I went to the store before we were leaving, which you guys saw that clip of before we were leaving to go and do like Christmas extravaganza day. And I literally, the subway was so late that I had 20 minutes to shop inside of this store. And I didn't take clips while I was in there because I was actually rushing and needed to take the Instagram content, but it's huge. And I'm gonna be going back there. So I'll film next time when I'm in the store, but it's ginormous. I'm like speed walking around. And I was like, should I try and like waste my time trying to find the top or should I just get the pants? And lo and behold, on a random rack, I found the top in a size medium, which I don't mind at all. I like my tops a little bit more oversized anyway. So grabbed the matching top. We have beautiful pajamas and I'm gonna pack these for when I go home. I have a pair of Christmas pajamas that I might bring instead, just cause it's like, when else am I gonna wear those? But we also might bring these if I have room in my suitcase. Okay, and then this one was kind of like a one-off. Oh, my battery's flashing. Is it annoying that I tell you guys every single time that my battery's flashing instead of just changing it and not 
saying anything. Anyway, so <laughs> the next item that I picked up was this cropped trench. Look at how expensive this looks. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to link this one because it was on sale from $50 to 30. So I'm just thinking that it's a style that's a little bit older or maybe it was from springtime because it's obviously a trench coat and it was 25 degrees out this morning. So I don't know if that's why it was marked down because I'm like, why else would it be? It's the perfect olive green color. This reminds me of my one mile one, but it's just a crop style instead, which I love. I don't have any cropped um, trenches in my wardrobe. And look at these tortoise buttons. Like the material is actually super nice. But yeah, I thought this was very well done. I love the color. I love the tortoise buttons. I like that it has the wrist cuffs. I feel like that makes it look super expensive as well. And they're also on the shoulders here, but really cute. And then I'm just going to show you guys a few basics. We needed to get some no-show socks because mine are washed and dried so much that they literally shrunk up to being this big and I still wear them, but they like crush my toes while I have them on. So I got a pack of five and then I also got a pack of five tights because I don't know what it is. My only good pair of tights are my commando ones. Every other tight that I've bought, I had a pack from H&M and like those felt so like I don't know how to explain it. They were just like rough and you kind of felt like if you breathed on them, they were going to rip. So I got a pack of these. I wore a pair of them this morning to shoot in West Village and they were perfect. These are the 10 denier. So they're definitely sheer. I know sometimes it's difficult to decide like which ones to get, but 10 denier is a really good one to go for if you want them to be sheer, but obviously still look like black tights. And then I got a pair of a pack of um, black high socks. These are like the ones that go halfway up your calf because when I wear boots, I like for everything to be covered and not just for an ankle sock because sometimes certain boots can like aggravate or like rub on certain areas of your foot based on whatever shoe it is. So I got these because I have some of them, but they're like probably my dad's old socks from when he was like, I don't know, going to work in 1992. <laughs> so we're just gonna switch those out and have a fresh set, which I've never done before in my life. So treating yourself is always a good idea. <laughs> Okay, this scarf, I have been really looking for something like this that I can wear with my black coats, my beige coat that I have from Jenny Kane. And normally they're a plaid pattern, and I don't know if I'm like a plaid kind of girl, because I feel like it looks a little farmy. I shouldn't say that because I'll probably buy something plaid within the next couple of weeks, because it's just cozy looking. <laughs> but I got this scarf because it has all the nice like beige, white, and black, grayish tones in it but it's this like straight kind of pattern. I don't even know if this is a pattern, but yeah, it's more of like a stripe instead of plaid. And I thought that was really chic. I loved the tassels on it. Fun fact, I actually do not have a scarf that has tassels. So I thought that was fun. And I also like the fact that I could just wear a really plain outfit underneath and then add this scarf on if I want to have a little bit more excitement detail i don't know and then i think is this the last thing i feel like i got more stuff oh well i've been talking for like a long time so um this is the last thing and this is a teddy coat that i got in this really beautiful brown color it's the softest thing ever there's just something about like a faux fur that can be really soft and silky and smooth and i got this in a size large because i wanted to wear it with i don't know if anyone's been seeing it's like controversial um, but Kendall Jenner was wearing a Phoebe Philo coat when she was in Aspen and it was ginormous But I thought this looked so similar in obviously a very affordable non Phoebe Philo way But this is what it looks like. It's like pretty Big, but I kind of liked that about it. I don't think I would wear it with gray, but I just liked how large it was and That it goes like kind of far down it's not really like a, normally like fur coats will go up to here my one from Cezanne is like pretty cropped up to like I don't know probably my waist and this one is just like big and fluffy and soft and warm and with like a crossbody to bring in a little bit of the shape I feel like it's gonna look really nice and I tried it on earlier with a black like bodysuit sweater like a turtleneck a skirt and tights and I feel like that would be really cute as like a cozy wintry like dressed up look also if you're going to like a party I feel like this is a nice like fancier coat to wear instead of wearing a wool coat like I have uh, like I did when I went to my work party I kind of wish I had this but really love the color and I think it's a really good 
idea to get things oversized because I feel like it just looks more expensive. So that's my Primark haul. I feel like I got a good amount of like different categories of things and I feel like it was because I was in the store for the first time and didn't really know what to expect. I went on the website beforehand and kind of looked around a little bit and then I went into the store. Oh wait, I am missing something. I got this really pretty candle. I liked that the glass was this dark brown and black asymmetrical, like not really having a rhyme or reason to the pattern of it. Because we have a lot of light colored decor in our apartment and I feel like I wanted to add some darker elements to it. So this I feel like looks really chic and it was 10 bucks. And this is the vanilla scent and it smells so, so amazing. Very similar to the vanilla bean Noel that I have in the living room, but that one's almost burnt out. So I think I'm gonna put this on the coffee table next because I just really like the way that it looks. But as I was saying, I feel like because it was my first time in the store and I was rushed, it was just me kind of like picking up everything that like caught my eye. And I feel like that's a really good way to explain this. Like some things I needed, some things I was already gravitating toward like the fluffy coats that I'm trying to add into my wardrobe or the necessities, obviously we always need socks <laughs> and tights. That's like one thing that I also wanted to pick up. So really good variety, very, very good prices. And I'm gonna try to link whatever I can so that you guys can shop anything if you would like to. But Polly's currently making lunch. We're gonna have some pasta and then I'm gonna wait a little bit to digest and go to the gym. And I think while I'm digesting, I'm gonna pack for home. So we're going home tonight. I have Secret Santa with my home friends tomorrow, so I need a dressy outfit for that. Um, Christmas Eve, which we're celebrating mostly because my sister's working on Christmas, which is obviously not ideal and we wish she, she could be there for the actual day, but we'll do like all of me <laughs> using my number two to like fix my hair. Um, obviously we're gonna do all the festivities anyway. It's just gonna be a little bit different, so we'll miss her, but um, at least we get to kind of celebrate on Christmas Eve. Then I have Christmas Day, which I think we're only doing dinner at home, so I don't really need to like dress up for that, but I'll wear like something home on the train that will work for that. And then Monday we leave, no, Monday's Christmas. Tuesday we're leaving to go to Vermont. So I need to bring like the leggings, the layering pieces and things that I wear when I go skiing. We're only gonna go skiing one day because it's, stupid expensive like I almost don't want to go one day because it's that pricey but I never get to go skiing so I feel like we're gonna just do one day stay out all day make it worth it and then the other couple of days we're gonna be just having like cozy cabin kind of feels so I'm gonna pack for that I've been talking for way too long I'm gonna go eat lunch and then we're gonna pack for all of these different events that we have going on I'm gonna be shocked if I could fit this all in my suitcase because it's like fancy cabin Christmas all of that. All right, we finished lunch, and I'm not sure if you guys are gonna be able to see this well because it's gotten so dark in here. I think it's probably like 3.30 now. So we're losing daylight, people, but I am gonna wear this tomorrow for brunch, so I'm just starting on the packing situation. We have some house chores that we need to do before we leave, but I wanted to just show you this before I end up wearing it tomorrow and just give you an idea of what I'm gonna wear. So this blazer jacket, I think this is a jacket actually, is from the Claire Rose collection on Naked Fashion. So it's spelled N-A-K-D. And Claire Rose is like one of my favorite influencers and like, I don't know, dressers of all time. She's just really classic and very ele elevated and effortless. And this jacket I feel like is all of those things. But I saw someone style this as a dress on their website. And when I bought it, I sized up to a EU 40. I think I'm normally a 36 and I sized up so that I can wear it as a dress. So the idea is to wear this closed with just like either the whole thing closed and having like the three buttons or open. And then I'm going to wear a black tights. My ones from Primark. I'm going to bring a couple pairs just in case. And then I kind of am thinking Dior heels. I have the slingbacks that are like black and then they have the bow that goes around the heel so it'd be nice to tie in like the black and white of the look so that's my plan but we'll see if I can fit them in my suitcase otherwise I have a pair of like plain black pumps at home they do need a heel tip replacement so they like really tap when you walk um, but worst case I'll just wear those or like a pair of my mom's like pointed heels because I might be limited on space but I did realize also that going home for Christmas um, on Christmas no, Christmas Eve breakfast when I go to 
Um, see, my dad's side of the family, we're doing like pajamas, so I technically don't really have to dress for that, or I'm sure something in my suitcase will work. So we're gonna bring this. I'm actually kind of glad that this is the whole outfit, and I don't have to bring like a big chunky sweater and trousers or whatever else I would wear. So really excited about this. I also love how long these sleeves are. Little side note, but can't wait to wear this. I'm gonna finish up packing and then go down to the gym while the dishwasher's running, and then we're probably gonna head out around like 5.30ish. 